hello everyone, I'm back, and this time, I'm getting naked. I know that there are going to be two very different types of people that click on this video. The first group of people, the people who are genuinely curious about, you know, why have I made this video? What's it about? What's going on? The second group of people uh, are going to be people who are looking for a knit slip. Now, I recently came across a study that was done in 2017 by the University of London that said this. People who spend more time naked have a higher self-esteem and feel happier than people who would rather cover up. And this wasn't nudity in, in an intimate setting, you know, where you were down getting freaky with it. Nay, nay. This was nudity in non-intimate settings, casual settings, you know, catching a, a pint with your mates. Bollocks out. Going to the beach? Full titty galore. Now the study had a lot of issues in terms of the fact that it was a very small sample size of around 900 people and most of the people in the study identified as male. Now that's obviously going to skew the data a little bit but I think they were actually onto something. Now although it seems like a paradox that somehow spending more time naked with other naked people is going to make you less self-conscious, it actually made quite a bit of sense. Most humans have the same parts. You know, nothing's really that unusual. Things that make us insecure, like stretch marks or cellulite or beer bellies or bum size, boob size, penis size, size of your balls, anything. We fixate on those things because realistically, we only see a very small amount of other humans naked. And especially if that's the other gender, it's incredibly difficult to know if the things that you're insecure about are things that other people have too. For example, a lot of people who identify as female have cellulite. Now cellulite affects about 80% of women, but if you are a straight woman, the chances of you seeing plenty of other women with cellulite in their, you know, full naked glory is very small. And so you may go on for years of your life thinking, hey, I'm the only one with cellulite. <laughs> but if you were to spend time with your closest pals, absolutely stark bollock naked. It would be very easy to see how many other people have the things that you're insecure about. And if it's so common for everyone to have these things that we're all uniquely insecure about, why are we insecure about them? And most of that is because we've been peddled an idea of the perfect human form. And most of the time that's very skinny, muscular, toned, big booty, big boobies, giant cock, no cellulite, perfect full head of hair. And if you look like that, more power to you, but we shouldn't be crucified because we don't fit into a very, very small minority of what is publicly perceived at this point in time as perfection. Now, I spent most of my, my teenage years hating myself, stupidly, granted, but I did. It occurred to me that I don't think I'd ever spent time with myself other than showering naked. And uh, even in the shower, I would tend to just, you know, Head up policy. Just don't look down. It's like fear of heights, except it's just fear of all of this. Now granted, I now have a pretty good self-image. I've spent a lot of time and effort telling myself that I look mighty fine in the nude. But that's not to say that I don't still have days where I look at myself and I think, piece of shit. <laughs> piece of shit. And so I thought, how can I eliminate those those few days where I feel like my body is quite literally the most disgusting thing in the world? And so I decided to take on the idea that's said in that study and to spend some time with myself naked. Obviously, this study would be a lot better if I could get naked with my friends, but unfortunately, quarantine. I'm being cock-blocked by quarantine. And so after a bit more research, I found out that a lot of people who do still life modeling are actually some of the happiest people going. Every single article that I read about people who'd done still life modeling said that it was one of the most empowering and confidence inspiring things that they'd ever done in their life. But unfortunately, again, because of quarantine, I couldn't exactly just hop in the local art class and, you know, strip off. And the idea of getting naked on a Zoom call with a bunch of artists just seemed like a terrible idea. So on a bad body confidence day, I decided that I would strip off, stand in front of a mirror, and draw myself for three hours. Well, I always joked that I was gonna get naked on camera someday. I just don't think any of us expected that it would be on youtube.com. <laughs> so I have a rather obnoxiously large sketchbook uh, back from the days where I used to think I could draw, uh, I've got a rather standard number two pencil. I'm not left-handed, I don't know why I'm holding it in my left hand. <laughs> right, I'm in my underwear now, this is not safe monetization zone, so... Thank God I didn't chop all my hair off, you know what I mean? Right now, my hair is the only thing between me uh, and a big, a big fat yellow icon. <laughs> I'm very sweaty right now, and I think it's because pure stress. 
pure pure stress. I don't know why, but the fear of this being leaked is somehow in my head, which is funny because the only person that's gonna leak this is me to the entirety of the internet. Is this the equivalent of leaking your own nudes? I feel like it is. Underwear off. I don't know why I quite... I flung that round. We, I'm... You can't see it, but there is nudity. Okay, so I'm naked now. Um, just a little update for you. Uh, I've got a mirror in front of me here. I'm very careful about these angles because otherwise it's just going to be full vagine in the face. I'm now going to sit in front of this mirror and, and draw myself. Now jokes aside, I don't think I have ever, as a grown woman, just sat in front of a mirror and looked at my naked body. Which, now I think about it, as a 21 year old human being, it's really odd. As I've grown older, it's become more and more clear to me that my intimate partners throughout throughout the, the ages, she says, as if she's been shagging around since 200 BC, may have known more about my body and the way it looks than I ever have. It's so bizarre because I've always been one to celebrate the human form. And I truly believe that human beings are these beautiful creatures in all the shapes and wonderful sizes and colors and everything that we come in. But it's incredibly interesting that there's this huge disconnect between my idea that the human form is beautiful and the idea that my human form is beautiful. And I desperately want to fix that. So I'm currently trying to work out what, what position to draw myself in. Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure what I'm going for. I don't want like a full vagine shot. That is a bit, a bit much for me personally at this point in time. So I think I'm gonna go for like maybe a, like a side, like a side view. So there's a little bit of titty, but no of the vegagne. You know what I mean? We want minimal for JJ. I'm sure this is the least of your concerns right now, considering there is a, a naked woman knelt in front of you, but <laughs> I apologize for the way my bed looks. Um, I'm currently washing my sheets, uh, cause you know, hygiene, amazing. Where's my pencil gone? I'm sat butt ass naked on my floor and now I can't find my pencil. Now is probably a good time for me to tell you that uh, I am not good at art, like even slightly. We'll be lucky if we get a stick man with tits. <laughs> Oh, it's hard to draw it because my knees are so big. This is very hard because I didn't realize that that I move when I draw. So I'll try and draw something and then and then I move. So I can't draw it. Please help me. Actually, maybe I should just fuck the arms off. I think fuck arms. That's what I'm saying. I hate arms anyway. You know, get rid of them. Titties are better. Okay, that does not look right. <laughs> My ass is now actually a triangle. Um, Elbat booty reveal. It's just a triangle. Can you see that? I'm not sure you can. I found like the perfect nude drawing music as well, which is wonderful. Bob's or Vagana, whichever will it be. Set the is that where my belly button is? I don't know. I think it's low. Is it lower than that? Or is it higher than that? I don't... Belly buttons are weird, you know. Bitch lasagna, bitch lasagna. This is nothing but a bitch. There's something wrong with this. Is my belly button in the wrong place? Bitch lasagna, bitch lasagna. Okay, update. What do you think? I think it'll look a lot better when we add some shading. I don't know how I'm gonna shade though, considering I don't know how to shade. I won't lie, right now, I'm feeling very calm. I really thought this would stress me out a lot more than it has. I've put on weight over this quarantine period, as a lot of us have, and that's completely okay. And I thought that seeing my body naked and seeing a little bit extra, you know, curviness to me would upset me. But I think it's something about the objectivity of drawing it. It's like I'm looking at it and instead of criticizing it, I'm kind of just looking at it as a shape to draw. I've never really looked at my body for what it is. I've always looked at it with a negative self schema and I've looked at it like this could be smaller or this could be rounder or this could be flatter. I have never looked at it as, okay, so this is a shape. It exists the way it is and the way it is is great. My body's awesome. What am I doing? I'm not under clothes for. This shit's divine. So I've got the basic shape. I'm gonna just take a picture now and then continue sketching. Um, just because I'm aware I've sealed off this room for a very long period of time now and I'm starting to think everyone thinks I'm masturbating. This experience was actually 
one of the best experiences that I've had to myself ever. I have never spent time looking at my body in a mirror and not had a single critical thought come into my head. And I genuinely believe that the reason for not having a single critical thought was not because I was immensely feeling powerful at that moment in time, it was just because my body wasn't something to be criticised, it was something to be drawn. It was in and of itself a piece of art. Now I think a big issue in our society is that nudity in and of itself is seen as inherently sexual. For example, it's incredibly bizarre to me that if I took a nude it would be seen as in inherently explicit, whereas there's some gal from ye olde Greek days with her tits out in the Louvre that children look at. The human form to me has always and will always be art. I mean, it can be sexual, yes, when the context applies, but I think the pressure on making nudity sexual, even when it's not, has made a lot of us very insecure about our bodies. Bodies should be able to exist and be naked and not feel a pressure on them to look a certain way. I drew myself about a week ago now and I still am feeling the positive impact of that experience and I don't think it's gonna diminish anytime soon. In fact, I actually want to do it again. It's something that I'm like, you know what? I'd actually be pretty down to strip off, spend some quality me time, dancing around to some music, draw in me ass, because it was wonderful. I want to also stress that this is not just for people who identify as female. Self-love and self-positivity and having a high self-esteem and awareness of love for your body is an important thing across all genders. Every single person needs to be able to appreciate and see the beauty and art in their own body. You are deserving of self-love, you are deserving of seeing your body as the fine, sexy piece of ass that it is. I figured you guys have waited long enough, I think I'll show you the big reveal of my drawn nude. <laughs> I've got my year nine art book. Wonderful. Please do not expect this to be any good. As I already said, not an artist. I am gonna blur my nipples because <laughs> although I believe nudity with friends is fantastic, I don't wish to get my tits out in front of strangers so much. So <laughs> this is the closest you lot will ever get to seeing one of my nudes. Hey, look, we even got something in there for the feet lovers. I mean, I've got no toes. But there's a foot. Nice. Something that this has made me more appreciative of is naked art. Uh, and to be honest, I think at some point I will probably commission someone to paint me naked for my home. Because, you know what? My body is art. My body is art. Your body's art. Our bodies are art. Let's all get our kit off. I would implore you, if you're watching this, to give it a go. I have never felt so comfortable with myself. That was the longest I've ever been non-intimately naked in my life. And I feel so much more powerful for it. Although I have to admit, staring my nipples directly in the eyes for that length of time was a little bit unnerving. Now more than ever, I think we need a little bit more body positivity in the world. So if this is something you'd like to give a go, please let me know down in the comments below. And I'd love to hear of you guys, you know, getting your kit off in the least weird way possible. Uh, I'm not I'm not trying to catch a case. If you like this video, uh, give a gentle press to the like button. It only has to be gentle. Just caress it a little bit. It'll light up. It's because you've turned it on. If you didn't like it, give it a cheeky little thumbs down. It's a free world, you do you boo. Here's my Instagram, my Twitter. Go follow me over on there if you like. No pressure if you don't. I am posting a video today on my second channel as well. So head over there if you want some general less effort content. I'm not really selling it, but head on over there and I will see you next week with another video. Bye! Kisses to your mother! I can't feel my face, no, faking on a Sunday.